Good health and happiness has got intimate relationship with each other. Good health is the foundation of our success in life. If you have got everything in life, say money, fame, relationship, but you don't have a good health, you cannot enjoy anything. By maintaining good health, you can derive real happiness in life. On the other hand, a person with ill health remains unhappy about everything in his life. Such person keep on complaining about his health. Simply depending on ill health and associated unhappiness does not serve any purpose. Many people keep on complaining about their unhappiness because of their bad health. But they do not take steps to improve their health by following certain corrective habits. By following certain good habits, they can manage to improve their health and can remove their unhappiness. One has to put efforts to change the one state of body and mind by strictly following some good habits to remain happy. In this video, I'll talk about why people do so. What are the tendency of people to talk about their illness rather than taking the steps to improve their condition? And what are the ways and means by one can, one can enjoy a good health by following the habits. One can enjoy the good habit, a good health and can get happiness in their life. So please listen to this video till the end and try to follow the things in your life so that you become healthy and out of that you get happiness in your life and you remain a happy and healthy life and enjoy this life in its own. To derive happiness in life, one has to take practical steps to regain good health rather than merely complaining about it. Unfortunately, many people get immense pleasure by describing their state of ill health and associated unhappiness with others. It is not acceptable to them. Unfortunately, it is not acceptable to them if any solution for this problem is suggested by others to them. You show your compassion to him for his situation, he will become very happy. But the moment you suggest a solution for their problem, to solve their problem, he will avoid you as if he was happy, he was happy with his ill health. Unfortunately, a strange sense of attachment to unhappiness rules their mind. <clears throat> they remain attached to their problem and cannot find the driving force to get out of this trap by taking steps to overcome it. They become totally involved with their, with their problem, with their issue of their life and they find it really very difficult to come out of that situation. Unfortunately, merely expressing the state of unhappiness and crying over it is not going to give any solution. What is the way out? One has to get out of that vicious circle. They must start taking small steps right from right now, right from today, right from the present to get out of that unhappy state they are confined in. Yeah, they have to master the courage to come out of that situation. Rather than describing that pitiable state to others all the time, they must do their best to remove it to get ultimate happiness. To get happiness in life, one has to maintain a good health. By keeping good health, one can ensure his physical, mental and emotional well-being. And one should follow certain habits and steps to maintain good health. So let us see what are the steps one can take so that he can remain happy and healthy in his life. The first point is doing physical exercise. One should do moderate exercise for a minimum 30 minutes for at least five days a week. The activities for exercise may be walking, jogging, swimming or doing yoga depending upon the individual capacity. Doing regular exercise keeps the body fit and happy mood, thereby uh, bringing more happiness into life. The second point is proper sleep. During the time we sleep, our body repairs and rejuvenates itself. Proper sound sleep is essential for our physical and mental health. Sometimes people develop a habit of uh, sleeping late at the night and rise early in the morning with giving inadequate sleep to their body. One should get at least seven to eight hours sleep every night. Also, 
for maintaining healthy and happy life, one should go to bed early and rise early in the morning. And that's going to really contribute to a large extent for keeping a good health and mind as well. The third thing is healthy diet. It's a very, very important thing. Diet plays the most important role in maintaining good health. One should take balanced diet. Healthy diet should contain green vegetables, fresh fruits, whole grains, proteins, and healthy fats. One must avoid processed foods, snacks, and biscuits containing sugar. One should avoid excessive salt and unhealthy fats. It is sensible to read the ingredients of any food product purchased from the market to ensure that there is no harmful substance including sugar, bad fats, etc. We most of the time generally we take the, the foods from the market without looking into what are the constituent the ingredients of the product. If you look at that, uh, we may get a fairly good idea about the contents of it and can understand whether it is good for health and in that way one can even discuss or consult with a dietitian or a doctor so that uh, whether the foods are good for him or not. The next point is avoiding sedentary lifestyle. It is a very, very bad habit. Our lifestyle is responsible for many of our health issues. And the way we maintain our life, that's going to contribute to the condition of our life, of our health. Out of which sedentary lifestyle is one of the important causes of many health issues including blood pressure, diabetes and obesity. Therefore, one must not have long sitting in one posture. There must be periodical standing and movement to break the continuity of sitting. So, By avoiding sedentary lifestyle, many of the problems and issues can be avoided in life. Next point is drinking enough water. Because of a busy life, many a time we forget to take sufficient water in, whereas water is a very, very important constituent of our health. It contributes to good health. One must drink plenty of water to remain hydrated. There are many benefits of remaining hydrated, including getting rid of wastes through urination, perspiration, and bowel movements. Average intake of fluid for men should be 3.7 liters and that of female is 2.7 liters a day. However, one must consult a qualified doctor on such issues and generate, create a habit of taking plenty of water, sufficient water throughout the day. It should be made a habit and once the habit is made, it, they will continue to uh, take that and it will contribute to a better health. The next point is health checkups. We avoid making checkups and we think, take it for granted that our body is doing well. And certainly someday we find that things are not okay. It's always sensible to get regular checkup on vital health parameters under the guidance of a qualified healthcare provider. Because prevention is always better than cure. It's always beneficial if one can detect any health issue early and take necessary curative steps. So don't forget to make regular checkups and consult with your, with your doctor and so that you can prevent uh, conditions of your health. The next point is managing stress, or stress management. Excessive stress is one of the most important reasons of negative health issues. Because of stress, our body releases various stress hormones including cortisol which is responsible for health problems. <clears throat> Whereas in today's busy life, it's difficult to avoid stress. You can't say that there will be no stress in my life. but you can always release stress from the mind through certain regular habits. One can practice stress releasing techniques like breathing exercises, yoga and meditation. Meditation is one of the most effective ways of releasing stress. Apart from this, one should always remain happy and smiling and remain with nature to reduce stressful life. So managing stress is very, very important thing for uh, to remain healthy in life and in that I will underline again the meditation one of the most important thing by which you can one can manage his stress and also the one must remain very happy and smiling and uh, remain with the nature remain with the nature right so that uh, he, the stress is continuously reduced and they remain happy and healthy. And the next point is mindfulness and gratitude. That's one very important thing. 
one should develop the habit of practicing mindfulness and gratitude regularly. By practicing mindfulness, one can focus at present, thereby removing the stress of past and the future. We have got stress of the past, the past traumas, the past issues, past problems, past mistakes that you may have done. Or even sometimes when you compare with our past situation, which may be probably are better than the present situation, we gather more stress and issues in our mind. Similarly, when we worry about our future, how things are going to happen, when you achieve something in your life and don't get it, it creates a lot of stress in your mind. So one should be able to avoid this the trauma of the past and future and should focus at the present. Also by practicing gratitude for everything that you get from others, one can remove stress thereby fostering the health and happiness. Gratitude is the way of life by which you can balance what you get from this world and what you give to the world. By giving and getting to the world, you can manage that, maintain that equilibrium. And once that equilibrium is maintained, there is peace and happiness in your life. So therefore, the practice is mindfulness and gratitude with sincerity. Our next is social connections. One must maintain happy and healthy relationship in his family and with friends and connections in the society. This will breed positivity in life and help developing positive emotional health, thereby ensuring happiness in life. The person with a good social uh, social relationship in the family and in the society, they remain much better, they remain more healthy, and they become mentally more happy and emotionally much better. And that's one way of really uh, remaining happy in this life. Next, uh, practice extracurricular activities. Practicing extracurricular activities like hobbies or leisure activities can result in stress reduction mood boosting and fulfillment in life, it ensures happiness in life. So whenever you find time, you should go out from your, uh, from your routine life to anywhere, somewhere, uh, talk with people, be with people, play and the games and enjoy and uh, remain happy. And that's really, that change is really going to create so many good things in your life and it will ensure happiness in life. So practicing extracurricular activities is something which one should always think about while doing in their busy life. Uh, the next point is very important point. One should avoid addictions to remain happy in life. Addiction in any form, including drinking alcohol and smoking, is detrimental to health and happiness. One should always try his best to remain away from such habits. To remain healthy and thereby maintaining happiness in life, a regular holistic efforts that can take care of physical, mental, emotional well-being of a person. Right? So by Doing, practicing all these things, the steps that have been described by me here, one can really happy, uh, remain happy and healthy in his life. It is a holistic efforts by which you can really influence your physical, your mental and emotional well-being and thereby creating a good health and ultimately getting happiness in your life. I wish that all of you will, from your busy life, even within your busy life, in spite of all the things that you have got, you will not unnecessarily be confined with complaining about your health. That's a really a very bad of it. People keep on complaining about the health, but they do not take any steps to come out of that situation. They should, one should always avoid that habit, take steps to come out of it, muster the courage, right? Talk with people, go to your doctor, meet them, and take, your, take the steps, steps one by one, not in one day one by one and gradually will come out of the situation, create that habit. The initial thing will become a little difficult, but once you start doing it and the habit is formed, you'll find that you're gradually coming out of that situation. So if you can take certain steps, you, over a period of time, you'll see that things are going okay and you are being able to make your health better and thereby you are creating happiness in your life. So I wish, again, wish and I hope that all of you will become healthy and happy in your life. In my next video, I'll talk about, um, I'll talk about uh, again on another aspect that how you can become happy in his life. This is my happiness uh, video number seven. So please do, don't forget to take, read, uh, the listen to my all other, all my previous videos so that you can get a complete idea about how to remain happy in his life. And I'll be keep on coming with other videos on happiness in the times to come. 
Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. And please do share it with others so it can help others to remain happy in their life. So for the till the next time when I come with my new video um, and come up with an, another idea about happiness. Thank you very much. All the best. Please take care of yourself.